Cells are constantly exposed to a change in environment which could be beneficial or potentially harmful. Cell adaptation refers to a morphological change that cells make to this varying environment. There are generally considered four types of cell adaptation. Number one, atrophy, this is where cells decrease in size. Hypertrophy, this is where cells increase in size. Hyperplasia, this is where cells increase in number. Or metaplasia, this is where cells change form. Generally speaking, adaptation can be either physiological or pathophysiological. An example of physiological for atrophy would be skeletal muscles after disuse. A pathophysiological example would be brain tissue in dementia. In hypertrophy, a physiological example would be the uterus due to hormonal stimulation in pregnancy. A hypertrophy pathophysiological example would be cardiac muscle when it's exposed to high blood pressure or aortic stenosis. Hyperplasia, an increase in cell number. A physiological example would be the breast tissue in puberty or during pregnancy. A pathophysiological example of hyperplasia would be the prostate tissue over high exposure to dihydrotestosterone in older men, and this would lead to benign prostatic hyperplasia. Finally, metaplasia. This is where tissues are exposed to chronic stress or chronic inflammation over time, and the cells make a change that's more suitable to that environment. For example, cells in the trachea or the bronchioles exposed to smoking will change form from a ciliated cell to a squamous cell or the esophagus exposed to high amounts of acid such in reflux will change from a squamous cell into a columnar cell.